Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today I did a full face chatty get ready with me. I did my whole routine with you guys. The main point of this video, aside from it being a full face, was I really showcased a lot of the Bitter Lace Beauty candy coated highlights. I'm so insanely obsessed with these, it's not even funny. I played with some shroud cosmetics on my eyeballs as well. I did my face routine. I don't really have anything else left to say that's that valid. Um, I guess just sit back, grab a snack, grab your makeup, get ready with me. Let's get into the video. Hello. <laughs> How's it going? We're going to do our whole face today. I haven't done a full face get ready with me in such a long time and I really, really need to start doing them more because I constantly get comments about my base routine and what I use on my face and my skin and all that stuff and I always keep my uh, product details in my description boxes of my videos but maybe I need to show you guys what I'm doing more often. For the most part I do the same general routine but I do try to switch up the products I use as often as I feel like but let me know what you think if I should do full face videos more often because I can do whatever you want. Anyways, I've already primed. I prime first. I use my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I like to do that before my brows so that the primer can really sink in and get tacky. And then for my brows, I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel. I believe I use the shade Medium. Yes, Medium Brown is what I use. I don't have Clear Brow Gel in yet because I saved that for after my entire face is done. But we're gonna jump into the rest of my face now. For foundation, I'm really, really trying to bust through this foundation and just get it gone. This is the IT Cosmetics Illuminating CC Cream. This is the shade Fair. I've had this for such a long time, guys. It's not even funny. Ugh, I just, it, it's the never-ending foundation. I was in love with it when I first got it. I still like it. I don't know, I think it's a pretty solid, like, medium coverage kind of deal. It's very dewy, it's very lightweight. This is actually what I recommend for a lot of people that maybe don't wear foundation very often but want to start getting into it. I feel like this is a really easy one to wear. But I also don't pick it up very often anymore, so who knows. I've just found things I like better for myself in my regular routine. Using my Juno & Co. microfiber sponge as usual as well. Freaking love microfiber sponges, man. I don't think I can ever go back to a traditional sponge. My memory card got full already, so if the lighting looks different, that's why. But yeah, I do really like the CC cream. I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm just bored of it because I've had it for so long. But just trying to run through it, I guess I'll decide afterwards if I feel like I need to have it in my life again. But I don't know. <laughs> I'm indifferent about it as of right now. For concealer, I've been dipping back into my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Creamy Concealer. Although it doesn't say hyaluronic acid, it just says hyaluronic, but you know, whatever. <laughs> What's new with you guys? I don't know if I really have any like cool updates. I got my wisdom teeth out. That was fun. The day that I'm filming this, I got my wisdom teeth out literally one week prior, so that's where I'm at. I feel like I'm mostly healed. These two teeth are mostly healed. This one is still a little bit of a struggle. I still have some pain, but it's not like bad. I got the upper tooth on this side taken out last February, in case you're wondering why I only got three. Mm, beautiful. But it was fine. I had to get totally sedated for these. I didn't get sedated for the one last year. I was terrified of being sedated, guys. You don't even know. I was scared that I wasn't going to wake back up. I was scared that I was going to not be fully sedated and still feel everything and be coherent. But I mean, it was fine. Although it's different than what literally everyone described to me. Everyone described it as like a dimming where like you just slowly go out. I don't recall that. For me, it was just like as if I fell asleep watching TV, like I was asleep and then I wasn't. <laughs> I did wake up. Well, I started to like come to a little bit when they were finishing up on my last tooth down here. And in my mind, <laughs> I thought they just started and I thought all of my fears were becoming a reality and that I was going to be coherent during the whole process. So I started to like cry, <laughs> but then I soon realized that they were almost done. So I had nothing to be a baby about. And they just wheeled me out. Well, one of the ladies actually, one of the assistants, she was changing my gauze out and I guess my lips were super dry and she asked um, like if I wanted to lick my lips and I, my whole bottom lip and tongue was numb. And I said, my tongue doesn't work. <laughs> And she said, well, does it normally work? Are you just numb? And I said, yeah. Oh, I was pathetic. 
And they wheeled me out to the car for Zane to drive me home. And I was just like, when can I have a milkshake? <laughs> but I couldn't even eat anything that first day just because I was so insanely numb. It was pathetic. I wasn't overly sleepy though, but I did take off that whole day of the surgery and I took off work three days after. Oh my gosh, I was bored to tears. I hated just resting for three days. It was miserable. But I'm back to the grind now. All right, some cream bronzer time. I was gonna use my Huda Beauty Tan Tour again because I've been using that nonstop for like a month and a half, but I decided to bust out my Milk Baked Bronzing Stick. I actually get a lot of questions from you guys on what I prefer. And I don't know, I like them both for different reasons. The coloring is totally different. This one is definitely more of like a bronzing color. The other one is definitely more of like a contour bronze hybrid. They're both super creamy. They're both super easy to blend out. This one's a little more user friendly because you don't have to use a brush to apply it. Like you can just use the stick itself. I mean, yes, you can use a brush if you want, but you don't have to, but I don't know. I like them both for just different reasons. It just depends on kind of what you're going for. I haven't used this in such a long time. Holy cow. This one smells like Play-Doh, which I love. Freaking love the smell of Play-Doh. Am I weird? Is anyone with me? I'm so incredibly sick of eating soft food. I'm so sick of mashed potatoes and mac and cheese and ice cream and pudding. I am so bored. I can't wait to eat regular food. What day is this video going up? It's March 9th when I'm filming it. I don't know when this video is going up. I think either the 13th or the 14th. So it's not crazy pre-filmed. I should be healed by the time this video goes up then. I've been dealing with really bad headaches from this healing process and I called the surgeon's office today since it's Monday morning just to inquire about it and they said that like that's totally fine there's nothing wrong with me. I just get paranoid. I'm never like ill and I had like a cold for like a whole week before the stupid surgery and now I've been like headache and mouth pain for a week. I'm just ready to feel back to myself. I'm ready to go back to the gym. I might try to go to the gym tomorrow if I'm feeling good, but we will see. I feel like I'm losing all my muscle mass. <laughs> for blush, I want to use Glossier Beam Cloud Paint. I really want more of these. I've gone to Glossier's site like twice now to potentially buy one or two more colors, but I just haven't done it yet. I just applied it straight to my sponge, by the way. Sometimes I use my finger and tap it on first and then blend it out. Sometimes I just go straight in with the sponge. Just kind of whatever I feel like doing. Is there anything from Glossier that's like a must-have or a must-try? I'm interested in the boy brow. I'm interested in those bomb.com um, lip balms. The birthday cake or whatever, confetti cake. There's one that's like a birthday cakey one. I'm intrigued by, are those any good? Is it worth buying an expensive lip balm? Let me know like what I need in my life. Please and thank you. The dew is real. Freaking love dew. I think I want to do a favorite dewy makeup products video. Let me know if that's something you want to see because I feel like I just live and breathe dewy makeup so I feel like I might have something to contribute to that conversation. For cream highlight, I'm using the ColourPop Light Stick. This one's in the shade Earth, I think. <laughs> Am I making things up? Yes. I mean, no, I'm not making it up. Yes, it's correct. With this, I actually use my finger and tap it out because I feel like my finger can kind of warm up that product a little bit. This one's the most subtle out of all of the light sticks that I have from ColourPop. It's just a really, really soft pink. It's not super blinding or anything. But I like to just tap it on with my finger and then I use my sponge to blend it in. I find that's just what works best for me. I love the ColourPop blush and light sticks though. I would literally own all of them if I could, but that's excessive and I don't need that, but I, I absolutely would. To set my face, I'm of course gonna use my Milk Makeup Blur setting powder because it's just the end all be all of setting powders for me. I did buy one of the Menagerie Camouflage ones. I bought the lavender one because it's supposed to brighten and I knew I didn't need a translucent powder because like nothing's gonna replace this one for me. I'm sorry, it's just not gonna happen. Um, but I wanted to try the lavender one because it intrigued me. I've never seen a lavender setting powder before and I thought it might be cool to brighten up. The first time I used it, I just immediately set my under eyes with it and I didn't really like that. I felt like it was a little bit, I don't know, it made my under eyes look a little bit crepey. It was a little bit too heavy for my under eyes. It's quite a thicker, powder in my opinion. I don't know if the other colors are different than the purple one, but I just know I like if I got this in translucent, it was the exact same texture. I don't think I'd like it for my whole face. But what I do is I set my face with the milk makeup one like normal, and then I just take a light amount of the purple one and just like lightly sweep it under my eyes. I don't know if it really makes a difference. I'll let you guys be the judge of that after I do it. 
gonna just quickly blend out the creases under my eyes and we're just gonna set with the milk makeup powder I know give me glow came out with powders too but I was looking at the ingredients on them on their website and they don't really seem like something I'd really like like they had like talc and cornstarch and stuff like that and that just doesn't really seem that exciting to me I don't know you'll have to let me know if you guys tried them though they also came out with some new highlights and I was really close to buying. I think it's called Baby Doll. It's a cute light pink one. I almost bought Fireflies, but then I realized it's just a loose version of Halo and I have the pressed version of it. I don't really need the same color in two formulas. I wish Give Me Glow stuff was sold in stores somewhere so that I could um, like just swatch everything and compare and see like what's the same and what's not. I've actually been using this giant brush. It's a Morphe E41 just to like quickly set the rest of my face without having to take a million hours. Such a big brush. It's like almost the size of my freaking face. It's so big. Okay, now that the majority of my setting is done, I'm gonna take the purple camouflage one from Menagerie now. The component's kind of cool. It has a little net here and then it has like a stopper on the top. I don't know, I do like the component, but I'm just going to take a little of this powder and tap it off. There's still a lot on there. And I like to just lightly dust some of it underneath. Ooh, I said a little bit, but I actually really got a lot. That's okay. Ooh, yeah, I grabbed way too much for this eye, holy cow. I guess I'm just going to have to go in heavy on the other eye too. These powders are pretty freaking pigmented if you can't tell. I don't know. It's, it's just not my favorite favorite powder formula in the world. Definitely not my least favorite or anything. Like, it's fine. I feel like it does brighten me up, but I can't tell if it looks good or not. You guys will have to let me know if this looks, like, fine. I used this in my Alter Ego Sahara 3 Looks 1 palette, so I had it on in all of those, and I feel like the overall, when it's coming together, looks good. I don't know. I'm undecided how I feel about this so far. You'll have to let me know if you guys tried other colors, if you like them. Um... All that good stuff. I think it's cool that Menagerie tried something new. Did you guys see that they're um, gonna have a pastel pup eyeshadow palette? It's like got a little sea lion. Oh my gosh. Or is it a seal? Now that I'm not looking at the picture, I can't remember. It's either a seal or a sea lion. I think it's a seal. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And it's funny because like I've been wanting to do a battle of the pastel palettes video for a while because I have a few pastel palettes, but I've been procrastinating because I've really been hoping ColourPop would come out with a nine pan pastel palette. And I just decided I was going to give up and I put it on my to film list. And as soon as I did that, that got revealed. So now that idea is going to get pushed back until after this. Oh, I can't wait for that palette. I'm stoked. I've been back using my Becca Bali Sands for a while now. It's It was my favorite bronzer for the longest time. This is literally my second one because I finished an entire bronzer back in the day. It's just like so perfect for fair skin. It's really beginner friendly because you can't use too much of it. I feel like it has a slight sheen to it, which I personally prefer. I'm getting a new tattoo. I haven't gotten a tattoo since I finished my sleeve. Like literally almost two years ago. I can't believe I've gone that long, but all of last year I didn't really want to start anything new because I want to sleeve up my other arm, I think, but I didn't want to start it before the wedding without being certain I could finish it and I wasn't certain I'd be able to finish it because that's expensive. But I'm actually getting a thigh piece. I already have a Kingdom Hearts tattoo on my left thigh, so I'm getting something on my right thigh. It's a secret. You'll see it when I post a picture on my Instagram stories. But I'm getting that on the 15th. I'm so excited. All right, bronzer done. For blush, I'm going to dip into my Likely Makeup Fairy Blush Palette. And I'm going to dip into Sunstone, of course, because it's like the best blush in the world. It's so cute and springy. Now that Daylight Savings just happened yesterday as I'm filming this, it literally feels like spring is upon us. And like, I'm sad because Florida gets so hot in the spring and summer, but at the same time, I'm excited for longer days. Definitely get more productive. And that just means we're closer to Halloween. Freaking love this blush, guys. I want a new Likely Makeup blush palette so bad. I know this one just came out in December, but like, I'm ready for a new one. I want like an angel blush or mermaid blush, devil blush. <laughs> Ghost blush, that would be cute. I don't know. There's so many things she could do, and I want all of the things. I'm gonna clean up underneath my bronzer and blush really quick with my Lunatic Labs 
palette and I'm just gonna dip into the white and the yellow just to kind of go underneath and clean up so it's bright and clean. <laughs> I don't have anything better to say about that. I like to just kind of drag it here as well. Just so everything kind of ties together. We're gonna do some freckles now. I'm just gonna use my Lottie London freckle tint because I just feel like it. I actually bought one of the Freck Extra Larges. It's still small. Actually, it's probably about the same size as this if this is closed. Maybe a teeny bit smaller. Um, but I did buy one of those. I haven't busted into it yet just because I do still have a little bit of my OG Freck, the small one. But I also just kind of want to use this one up. I'm a freckle fiend. I'd love if more brands came out with like a freckle tint like this just so I can compare formulas. There's definitely a market for it. I'll buy it. I know a lot of you will buy it. I don't know how freckly I want to be today. Apparently a lot because I'm still going. I've had a few people ask me like how do I get this to work because it's like a weird color on you. I don't do anything special. I just put it on and tap it out. Uh, it only comes in one shade so I can imagine it won't work for every skin tone. I'm sure just depending on what your undertones are it's gonna pull different. They're still a little too wet now they're kind of smeary in some spots so what I do for that is I just add more. I feel like when I accidentally make them a little too smeary if I just add a heavier, heavier concentration of them it kind of diffuses that a little bit. What other makeup releases are coming out that I'm excited about? Fenty's coming out with cream blushes and bronzers. I don't know if I'm gonna hop on the bronzer one just because I definitely don't need a new cream bronzer but I definitely want at least one or two of the blushes. They just look absolutely beautiful. I wasn't really excited about the matchsticks that she came out with for like cream bronzer. The idea of it being just like in a pan appeals to me a little bit better. I'm gonna let these set down really quick and while that's happening, I'm gonna use my clear brow gel. This is my NYX Control Freak, of course. Just gonna run these through so that they're nice and fluffy. Now just going through and tapping these out. Definitely harder with the freckles today, but you know what? That's all right. We're gonna have really heavy high makeup today, I feel like. For highlight, I wanna use some more of these Bitter Lace Beauty Candy Coated Highlights. I'm also gonna use some of these on my eyes. In case you wanna see these in action more and this is your first time ever seeing these beautiful Bitter Lace Beauty Highlights, I wore one of them in an, an IGTV video. It's like a corally look if you go to my Instagram. And then I also played with three different ones in my Alter Ego Sahara palette. I wore like three different ones for each look on my face and my inner corner. So check it out there. I'm gonna play with two on my eyes for sure that I haven't used yet. Which one do I wanna use on my face? I think I'm gonna use this one on my face. I really like this one. It's called Sugar Sweet. I've worn this one before, but it's just really, really pretty. These are very sparkly and very pigmented. I'm using my Kaleidos H1 highlighting brush. It's my favorite highlight brush ever. I'm just gonna very lightly start building this up on the cheekbone. I'm just going in little at a time with this because like I said, they're very pigmented and very sparkly, which I like a sparkly highlight. But this one's really easy to like accidentally smear on your entire face if you're not careful. Mm, they smell like Smarties, it's so good. I'm just gonna pop a little on my bridge, my nose, lip chin. Oh, I think it's so lovely. Definitely not like natural at all. Like they're a color <laughs> and they're a lot, but I love them. I'm gonna set my face really quick with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh setting spray. All right, I went ahead and primed my eye with my Smashbox lid primer in light as usual, and I'm not gonna set it. Say it with me, because I don't do that. <laughs> Um, I want to do something very bluish, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to take Cold Shoulder from my Creepy Cute palette, the Ultimate Pastel Palettes. Nothing has yet to beat it yet. I actually get a lot of questions if I prefer this or the Nomad Cosmetics Tokyo Harajuku. I love them both for different reasons, like this is an all matte palette, they're very vibrant pastels, they're beautiful, they are such a pleasure to work with. And the Harajuku palette is mostly like very subtle pastel mattes some satins, and then beautiful pastel-y duochrome shadows. So they're just like totally different vibes, but as like a solid like pastel palette, this is it for now. I guess we'll see what the pastel pup does. And I do have a discount code, 
with Shroud Cosmetics. It's a uh, Butte Bean, I believe, in all caps. I'll have it down in the description box if you feel like checking anything out. One of my favorite brands of all time. Their shadow formula is just one of my favorites. I'm just swirling this through my crease. I have a ColourPop E2 brush. I think I'm gonna take this a little on the lower lash as well, mostly in the outer corner. I'm really excited for the second edition of the Sugar Pill Capsule Collection. To me, it's like, it's definitely more neutral leaning than the first one, but it still has really pretty pops of color and it looks very springtime appropriate to me, which is exciting. I really like spring makeup. I like pastels, I like bright tones. I don't know. It's cute, and I'm excited for it. I imagine Sugar Pill is gonna send it to me because they send me all of their new releases, but I can't be certain of that, and I imagine I'll try to buy it if not, but I guess it just depends on where life's at when that launches, because I have no clue when it's launching as of right now. I wanna deepen this up with another shroud palette. This is the Arcana, beautiful grungy jewel tones, loves it. I just have this little Luxie one to one blending brush. I'm gonna pop this in my outer corner and just work it through my crease a little bit just to add some depth. So I am gonna do a cut crease to really show off those beautiful Bitter Lace Beauty highlights. And I've yet to use those like on my lid yet, so I'm excited to see what they look like with full impact. I'm going to pick up a little bit more cold shoulder from the Creepy Cute and just start running that through the crease as well. I'm trying to think of anything else exciting is happening in March. I feel like March was pretty much just the month of wisdom teeth and soon to be tattoo. That's about it though. I don't think I have any plans for April yet. And then May is the honeymoon and I'm so excited for that trip. Dipping back into Creepy Cute, I'm going to take a little bit of Creep It Real. I'm just gonna take this little pencil brush, it's from Pixie, it's the E03. I wanna pop some of that in the front portion. I don't know why. Actually, you know what, I don't even want a pencil brush. I'm just gonna use this blending brush, it's a Spectrum B06. And just really start blending that down here. Mostly focused in the front portion. So pretty. Okay, cut creasy time. Next glitter primer, of course. I'm just gonna take this flat brush with some of the primer and I'm gonna run this across my lid and just start tracing it right above my natural crease just to kind of get rid of that shadow a little bit and create a nice sticky base for the shimmers. I'm going to stop it right where those shades are really deepening up in the outer portion. So I'm going to start by cutting it with Lollipop Love. That one looks so pretty. <laughs> just going to dip into that with the exact same brush. Tap it off a little because it's a lot. And I'm just going to kind of trace it right up against where the cut is. Wow, it's so pretty. That's stunning, holy cow. Okay, I'm gonna take now Taffy Tart. Look how beautiful that is. I'm actually just gonna flip this same brush over and take the cleaner side of it. And this is just gonna go right underneath what we just laid down. We're gonna have like a bunch of different shifts going on on the eye, it's gonna be so cool. Ooh, yes. I'm just gonna go back and forth now between both colors, right where the edge meets. Holy freaking cow, guys. Do you see how beautiful these are? I kind of wanna use Lollipop Love, that first one on my cheekbones. I haven't used this one on my cheekbone yet. Wow, look at that. Ooh, that's a good idea. Oh, I'm stunned. This is so pretty. Ah, what do I want to highlight my inner corner with? I think I'm going to use Pastel Pucker to highlight my inner corner. This one's really pretty. It's kind of like a greeny, yellowy one. I don't know how to explain it. These are all just so cool and unique. They're not cheap. They're $20 a pop, but they're so pretty. The owner of Bitter Lace Beauty was so sweet. I ordered two of these and she sent me all of them. I was so excited. Oh my gosh. These are so special. I'm so glad I have these in my collection. And I love that they can double as highlights and eyeshadows just depending on the amount of pressure you use. And they're advertised as highlights, but obviously they make beautiful eyeshadows. I'm not so sure this blue one would be a great highlight on me. This would probably look very just blue, but it's the only one I haven't tried on my face at this point, so. 
I don't know. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so excited. Okay, well, I'm going to finish up the other eye and throw on, like, my lipstick, lashes, liner, all that good stuff, and we will catch up when I get back. All right, I am back. My look is complete. This is what I look like now. I'm really content with this. The eye pencil I decided to go with is Fresh from LA Girl. It just kind of complemented that lower lash line I felt like the best. My lashes are Thrill Seeker from Bold Face Makeup. And on my lips, I went with Withered Rose from Menagerie. And I actually tapped the Pastel Pucker highlight that I used in my inner corner a little bit in the center of my lips. And I really like it. Really quick, I ordered a new liquid lipstick from Menagerie when I ordered that powder. Um, they're like small now. One of you guys actually mentioned it to me a while ago, but like, I don't know, I didn't, I don't know, I almost didn't believe it, because like, that's weird. But like, they've gotten way smaller. And I think the price is the same. I honestly can't tell you what the ounce difference is, or milliliter, or however it's measured. I don't know what the difference is, because I don't have either of the boxes anymore. Um, but yeah, they're small now. And I don't like totally mine, like I like the, like the size of the small one, because like, I don't really go through lipsticks, so the small one's fine. But I just, I don't know if they ever, like, mentioned that. Oh, I got distracted talking to one of my clients um, on the phone, so I don't even know where I left off. But yeah, lipsticks are small now. Weird. <laughs> Anyways, I really like this overall look. I think it's very cute. I feel very, like, mermaidy. I think it's lovely. These sh uh, highlights on the eyes are so unbelievably stunning. I'm obsessed with the way they look on the face. I don't think I'm going to be putting these down anytime soon. I think they're a lot of fun. But let me know what you guys think of this look, what you thought of the video. I just want to chat with you. Leave your thoughts down below. If you made it to the end, why don't you leave me a mermaid emoji? I feel like that just makes sense. And if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bee and follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.